Hi everyone. In this video, we'll talk about users and roles in Zoho subscriptions. First, let's talk about roles. What are roles and how do they come into play in your Zoho subscriptions organization? A role can be used to give certain levels of permissions to the users in your organization. For example, you might want to give a higher level of access for your managers and just basic levels of access for your regular staff. Let's talk about roles in Zoho subscriptions. Log into your Zoho subscriptions organization. Go to settings and select users and roles. Now, click the roles tab. Here you can find the list of default roles in your organization, like the admin and the staff. Please note that you will not be able to edit or delete the default roles. However, you can clone them if you wish to create another role with similar level of permissions. You can also create a new role and give the appropriate levels of permission. For example, let's try creating the role of a manager. Click the new role button in the top right corner. Enter a name for the role. Provide a brief description for your role. Now, let's talk about the different levels of permission you can provide for various modules. In the products module, you can choose to provide the view access, which means that the user with this role can view all the products. If you select create, then the user can view and create products. Similarly, you can choose to give the user permission to edit and delete the products. If you choose to give all these permissions, then the user basically has the full access to the products module. If you wish to give full access in one go, then you can simply mark this box. Now, you can select the permission for your plans, add-ons and coupons. For few modules, you can find the more permissions icon which will help you access specific permissions for that module. You can set permissions for the customer's module. Click more permissions and you can choose to provide access for syncing in Zoho CRM customers. In the transactions module, you can select the appropriate permissions for your invoices, payments and credit notes. In addition to these permissions, you can choose to give additional permissions, such as sending emails for the invoices, voiding invoices, and writing off invoices. You can grant different levels of permissions for the subscriptions module. Similarly, you can grant permissions for the documents module. You can click more permissions and provide additional permissions such as viewing, uploading, and deleting documents. You can set permissions for settings module, which you can access by clicking here. For instance, let's say the manager role requires permissions for adding users, managing the currencies in the organization, and setting reminders. Then you would need to select the boxes users, currencies, and reminders. If you wish to give complete access for your organization settings, which includes permission to all these modules, then you would need to mark this box. Now, let's go to the report section. Mark this box if you wish to give access to all the reports, or you can select the types of reports which you wish to access for. For example, the reports on the dashboard, subscription reports, revenue reports, and so on. After you have selected all the permissions for your role, click Save. Your new role will be listed in this page. Let's talk about users. You will have many employees working in your business who would require access to your Zoho subscriptions organization. You can invite these employees as users to your organization and assign them specific roles that we had created earlier. To view all the users in your organization, click the Users tab on the top of the page. Please note that if you're a Finance Plus or a Zoho One user, you will be redirected to the Finance Plus or the Zoho One console for adding users. However, 
the role that you assign to any user will be based on the roles that you have created in your Zoho Subscriptions organization. Here you can find the list of users in your organization and their corresponding roles. If you wish to add a new user, click the Invite User button in the top right corner of the page. Enter the email address of the user you wish to invite and enter their name. Select the role that you wish to assign to them. Click Save. An invitation email will be sent to the user from where they can verify by clicking the link and gain access to your Zoho Subscriptions organization. In case they haven't responded to your invite, you can invite them again by clicking the settings icon next to the user and selecting invite again. You can also choose to edit the roles of your users. Select the role that you wish to give this user and click save. Let's have a look at the various actions that can be performed for the users and roles. In the Users page, you can hover over any user and click the Settings drop-down. Here, you can choose to edit the user and their role, mark them as inactive or delete the user. If you mark a user as inactive, they will no longer have access to your organization. You can, however, mark them as active again. You can edit any role. You can clone a role if you wish to create another role with a similar level of permissions and you can also choose to delete the role. Please note that you will not be able to edit or delete predefined roles such as the admin or staff. However, you can clone them. With this, we hope you've got a good understanding of users and roles in Zoho subscriptions. If you have any queries, feel free to reach out to us at support at the rate zohosubscriptions.com If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you never miss out on our upcoming videos. Thank you.